All right, let's see how this goes. Hi, so there's something I've been thinking about for a little while and I just wanted to make a video, put it out there, see what all of you think. You saw the title and the thumbnail is about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. But the conversation is actually a little bit larger than that. I have some ideas I think are pretty interesting, so stick around and then let me know what you think. But first, everyone's favorite part, history lesson. So back when Blackmagic Divine first acquired DaVinci Resolve, which was at the time solely a color grading suite and something that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to build a suite for, you needed all the hardware and it was wild. But they bought it and I believe that next year, I think at NEB, they announced a version of Resolve for $1,000. Mind blowing, crazy. And if, if I'm remembering correctly from what I read, I wasn't there, it was one year later that they also put out a version of DaVinci Resolve for free. And ever since then, they've had a paid full version of Resolve and an accompanying free version. Initially, the paid version at that time was called DaVinci Resolve and the free version was called DaVinci Resolve Lite. And it wasn't until a few years later that they changed that. So the free version was DaVinci Resolve and the paid version was DaVinci Resolve Studio. So I had an interesting thought one day. What if they brought back DaVinci Resolve Lite. A fairly common critique of DaVinci Resolve is that it requires a fairly beefy computer to um, not just run, but really get the most out of it. And while I think that's been getting better, especially with something like the uh, M1 MacBook Airs, for $1,000 on a laptop, you can run Resolve um, with great success. But especially as someone who um, wants to teach more people how to use Resolve, and especially Fusion, um, which requires even more, like my desktop, everything I have done on this channel in Fusion has been done um, not even meeting the minimum system requirements for Fusion. And we know Blackmagic is a company all about accessibility. I mean, they've made DaVinci Resolve free. They clearly want as many people using their software as possible. And on the About the Company page on their website, it says they are leading their creative video revolution. And part of that is getting more tools like Resolve in the hands of as many people as possible. So I am proposing we bring back DaVinci Resolve Lite a stripped down version of Resolve meant for lighter weight systems. So more people uh, can start diving in and experimenting and learning the basics. And I think a great candidate for this would be the iPad. Specifically, I think kind of obviously uh, the M1 iPads. I think it's on the Pro and the Air. Um, I've never owned an iPad, so I'm not super in that ecosystem to talk about it. Um, but I think it's a natural fit. And specifically what that version of Resolve could look like, I think we could practically see a standalone cut page. Now I am not a giant cut page user or even kind of a fan, uh, but the idea is growing on me. I know the use case they're going for, and I think for the right person doing the right kind of work, um, the cut page makes a lot, a lot of sense. And you can always jump right to the edit page and continue on from there. But imagine you've got a bit of media, maybe proxies loaded onto an iPad or maybe an iPad connected to an external drive. And you can just have an iPad and your speed editor as your control surface editing away. And if it is then more accessible and runs on lighter weight, uh, like Windows laptops as well, awesome. But like I said, standalone cut page, uh, maybe with an additional panel for a little bit more audio control, an additional panel for color, which right now on the edit page, you do have like an audio panel, but if you want any color drone, you've got to dip into the color page or do something like, I, I made a small standalone color grading um, edit page effect using the fusion color grading tools. It works, but it's definitely not how it's intended. But if they were to bring in a very simple color workflow on an entire clip by clip basis, something that slides right into the cut page, I think they could have one main work page that works really well for a lot of people. And I think a super easy integration would just be to save that as a normal DaVinci Resolve project file. That way people who don't even entirely work on DaVinci Resolve Lite could maybe edit on the road or maybe just get something up and running or they start as a beginner in DaVinci Resolve Lite, save a project and then that project can just be loaded in a full version of Resolve to, with, the, with access to the full suite of tools. And who knows, with Blackmagic Cloud up and running, maybe Maybe you have some online collaborative workflow in there. It could be pretty interesting. And obviously, just like with cloud currently, like media management is still a big deal. Um, I know you don't want all these tons and tons of files taking up space on an iPad. And who knows? Maybe we'll just get a full version of Resolve for the M1 iPads as it is. Controls could be a little clunky porting that over. Um, I'm not entirely sure how more complex stuff works on the iPad in general, but something like an iPad Pro running an M1 um, can't be that different 
from the MacBook Air running an M1. It's super, super easy for beginners to get overwhelmed when they're jumping into DaVinci Resolve. So both for accessibility, just in terms of letting more people run it, I think having a slightly more stripped down version could be really good for easing beginners in just a little bit. But then they could grow, expand, maybe they get a better system, something that can really run the full version of Resolve and Fusion and then you know they finally get to watching my Fusion videos. I think there is a ton of potential in this idea, and I think it's something that lines up with Blackmagic Design's sort of company philosophy really well. But I've just had this idea sort of bouncing around in my head. I was talking with some other people about it, um, and hey, now it's a video. Let me know what you think specifically, if you think Resolve could work on an iPad, but more in general, if you think a uh, more entry-level version of Resolve uh, meant to run on lesser uh, BV systems is a good idea. Again, it's all about accessibility, getting more people involved, more people creating. It's really exciting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.